so guys i'll be show you now that how you can make kind of like this pubg zone okay so yeah the zone will be shrink you can get damage if you are inside of the zone it will be not get any damage but if you are out of the zone it will be start you will be get to start the damage and when you again go inside of the zone you don't get any damage and the zone is shrinking yes so how you can create this thing so before do that let me tell you for this video or for this zone system somebody request me in my con box that his name is green yep green okay however he tell me that uh before this comment he also the same comment that please make a battle royal zone okay please tutorial so here's the tutorial video and if you have also uh any of comment or re video request you can Right in my comment box, I will must give you reply. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel, Kuri Bangla YT. Okay. Also, guys, there is a also a simple uh, price for you that I give you this project link in description link below, so you can easily download the file is Google Drive link, so you can easily download. Okay. Maybe there's show is some small ads. Yeah, very small. However, you can use this full project in the description link below. So okay. First of all, let me show you very quickly that how I created. So this is a zone, as you can see okay so yep so let's start so first of all i create a material the material will be this uh, as you can see the zone color is the material so at the material this is a special materials why in the materials i selected the uh, the blend mode to transparent okay make sure and then i set it basically uh, the color is red color okay then i create a operate uh, operate that i set it the mars that only 0 0.6 so i can see inside of the as you can see it's a transparency so i can inside of the zone i can see the clouds and other stuff and from the outside of the zone i can also see the inside of my everything okay so that's why okay the second part of this main important thing the zone so i create a right mouse then not right mouse i create a simple actor okay as you can see the actor so just create an actor and just give it name zone or anything okay so at the zone at the viewport i add a shaper you find this in i just click on add then click on here that shaper and then i set the size to 75 by 75 by 75 if you want you can increase and de increase the okay so make sure that your collision is overlap dynamic because we want to verify that our our character or player is get inside of the zone or not okay for do that make sure that you enable the collision okay guys then next part is this the main thing of coding yeah the coding is the main part so at the event begin play i add a sequence with the sequence i add a delay and i set the delay is 0 0.2 milliseconds and with a this one i get my shaper just like that get and from that you need to search that generate overlap events make sure that it sticks so one is done i add a timeline okay this timeline will be help you to shrink or it will be help the zone become shrink okay here's a timeline and with the timeline from the alpha or the speed i get uh, i set the shaper and with the shaper i said that set world scale 3 make sure there's a one more uh scale that 2d scale we don't need the 2d we need the 3d scale so just set the 3d scale okay then set the target with your shaper then set the new scale so let me show you that how i create this timeline so click click on here that time line so you find that add a timeline click on that and then double click and after then double click click on float and at, now at here you can give any of name so i giving that name is speed and with that make sure that you set the length 30 or if you want you can give more length the length is the how much time it should be the duration of this zone shrink okay that how much time it should be take for become shrink okay so then at here that click on add add a cube so add a curve or cube i don't know what is the spelling right so set it to zero and set the value the same that what is your length so in my case ah uh, sorry not your length that how much your shaper size so as you can see in my shaper size or my zone size is 75 so make sure that you set the first cube is 75 so one is done click on add a cube and here you find like this then make sure that you set it to 30 ah uh, sorry zero uh zero uh, I think I do something mistake so it's like that and make sure that it's in value is zero yep it should be zero and then ah then just click on like that okay so if you click on these two points so it will become in your display full as you can see as the down point that this wrong shank becomes zero so we'll be now use this value so come an event and from the speed you need to just uh, connect it with your set set world scale okay it will be start automatically okay so basically that's your timeline 
So basically, this is if you now click on just drag in your world, your shaper, it will be work. Okay, then let me show you that how I create the damage, uh, the damage system that if I inside of this one, I will be get damage. So for do that in my even begin uh, in my character of third person player. Okay, so in my third person player, I create a even begin play with a create a simple health system that it a health variable and I set the health variable to 100 and set a timer by event and I set the timeline is 0 point or the duration is 0 0.12 and set it to loop type and create a custom event that damage. Then I create a one more uh, boolean that called zone damage. So there's a boolean and then I search that if if the zone is true, so I will be start getting damage. So for getting the damage, I get my health then minus and then set the variable so for displaying that how much is the my correctly value in my console panel or in my viewport I add similar event tick that health and set it with print string okay this is not important but this thing is important if you want to create the damage itself or the damage so one is done then go with zone so at the zone with a sequence from a plug with sequence that get all actor from class I just getting my third person player all the references in this variable so get a all actor from class and get a copy then promote a variable like that just click on right mouse that promote a variable and connect it with this so one is done then I create a set timer by event and with the timeline timer by event I set the time to 0 0.5 to 8 so this will code will be help you to sometime after the zone becomes some stop like it takes some time then again is starting the shrink okay kind of like PUBG style as you know that first time it will be start the shrinking then after then sometime it becomes stop then again sometime after he will be remuse or continue the zone shrink okay for creating that system i just add this range and with that i uh, create a custom event that uh, wait and with that i add a flip and flop the first flip if it's first execute it will be what will be, uh sorry it should be in first execute it should be a stop and the second execute it should be play okay so then that is the main thing okay from that i create i just click on my the shaper and at the shaper if you scroll down you find like this even begin play even end overlap so in the end overlap i cast my third person player from my player reference just uh, as if you create a player reference you find like this variable just click on gate and from that just cast your player and from the player you need to say that the zone is true and the second time if we are even begin overlap it's meant that inside of the zone our zone damage should be stop or false so as a result that as you can see if i click on play after some time it will be become a stop okay uh yep as you can see stop if i'm begin inside of the zone it will be not take any damage if i are outside of the zone it will be take damage so i hope you understand that how you could create your own damage system or also a zone like pubg style so hope you understand this video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel kodi bangla yt thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye and see you in next video